Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Lumion 2024. I am Architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use Ray Trace in Lumion 2024. So Lumion has introduced Ray Trace in 2023 and since then our rendering has improved for interior scenes in uh, Lumion. So uh, it has improved uh, more in Lumion 2024. So we will understand first what is ray tracing and how to use this in Lumion. So if you look at the definition of ray trace here, so ray tracing is a rendering method that accurately simulates the behavior of a real world lighting by calculating and tracing the paths of light ray as they interact with objects in a scene. So this is our scene and ray tracing used to interact with these surfaces and it trace the light paths and it will uh, uh, result in more better rendering scenes. So this is the definition of ray tracing. So if you will go and take a photo of this, so I am going to show you a test here so i am going to custom style and i have not added ray tracing so i will tell you how to add this so i am going to take a preview of this rendering so you can see here this is the our uh, basic interior scene using custom style so it is lacking depth here so you are required to add uh, ray tracing so you can go to this add effect button and you can click this plus icon here and you can find this ray tracing suggestions here also and you can type in this search bar here and you can get your ray tracing so this is the featured here this is the featured uh, tab here and you can see ray tracing and you can find in lighting also ray tracing here and you can search here also so i'm going to double click here and now ray tracing is added in our scene so if you will take a preview of this this will result in more uh, global illumination lightings and you are not required to do any more setting by using ray tracing like uh, bringing some other lights and global illumination from the settings so this will be turned off so you can see uh, it is more improved this daylighting and there is more diffusion of lights you can see the sun rays here and see this is a proper daylighting and you can see this is more realistic here so you can increase or decrease these samples here so samples if you look at the definitions here sample what to so i am going to tell you so if you look at this definition of samples this slider adjusts the number of rays source per pixel per frame to control the accuracy of light so more the samples more the rendering time and more the better rendering and you can also select this quality here like balance fast high extreme and custom so i'm going to select custom here and now i'm going to increase this sample from 64 and you can also click here and you can change this sample here so i'm going to make this as a 500 so this will take more time but it will result in uh, some more enhanced scene or interior scene or exterior so you can see this will take more time here and you can see this update updating preview here so you can see the number of frames so this is 384 frames here so you can increase or decrease here 384 you can type 500 also so i'm going to type 500 i'm going to enter so you can simply wait for this and you can make this 500 also so by mistake i have typed this 384 so you can see it is taking more time but it will result in more enhanced scene so we'll wait for timing and you can also see this uh, metal uh, surfaces here like this uh, balls here and you can see this is more realistic and you can see this is more enhanced in Lumen 2024 and also in 2023 so by using ray tracing you can simply do wonders in Lumion so you can see this calculation here so now it is 
giving preview it is taking more time because we have increased the samples here and also you can increase the bounces and it will be taking more time and more better scenes here when you will increase and if you will decrease it will take less time but it will be less uh, enhanced scene so you can see here the effect of using ray tracing So now it is now you can see this is uh, the preview and you can see it is more uh, enhanced scene you can see here and you can see this surface here also so now we'll see some more settings here so i'm going to reduce this samples here and i'm going to make this as a 60 again and i will keep this bounces here same and it has become 48 so no problem so i'm going to show more here and you can see there are more settings here so you can see this is the denoiser so denoiser is turned on so to it will reduce the noise in your scene if you turn this off there will be noise in your uh, rendered scene so now i'm going to turn this off and we'll see what happens next here So you can uh, find noise in your scene if you turn this denoiser off so i'm going to turn this on and we'll take another preview of this so if you'll increase the samples it will take more time but more enhanced scenes and if you'll reduce it will be a uh, good rendering but it will be lesser than your increased sample so you can see if i if you will turn this on there will be no noise in your scene so you can also use this fiery filter so you can see the definition of fiery filter here so i will show you what is the definition of this fiery filter you can see this fiery filter in ray trace renders fireflies are small bright unwanted artifacts that appear as isolated high intensity pixels scattered throughout the image these fireflies often result from the complex interaction of light rays with surface and materials in this scene. So you can tackle this illuminate fire filter feature. So th basically this will take a pixel and look at all its neighboring pixels. So it will match the neighboring pixels in the lighting. If the difference between neighbors and the current pixel is too large, then it will replace with average color of it neighbor. So it will take the average colors of this neighbors resulting in a cleaner image so you can use this fiery filter in your lumion also so if there is a difference between neighborhood colors you can use this fiery filter and this is fully ray test glass so currently this is turned off so i am going to this glass wall here and we'll check i am going to take a closer here closer render and now i am going to preview this and this fully ray traced glass is turned off so you can see uh, this is not fully ray traced and you can see these uh, metallic balls are more realistic but this glass is real but not that much so I am going to turn this fully ray traced glass on and now we will take another preview of this so now you can see this is more enhanced in uh, using fully ray traced so this glass ball is looking more real and so these uh, metallic balls here so now we can see this is much more improved seen by using uh, this ray tracing here and I am going to use first I am going to delete this and you can see this. So now we will see how ray tracing behaves in interior night scenes. So I am going to 
my custom style and you can choose from here also you can choose for day night day scene you can choose this ray trace day here and for night you can select this ray trace night and for overcast also you can select this rt overcast these all are for ray test this rt so now i'm going to select night here for night scenes and you can see there is no need to add this effect is it is already added here this you can see this ray tracing effect here and it will give more uh, effect also with this ray tracing night here so you can see this is the night view of our interior scene you can see this is more realistic by this kind of lighting you can see and if you take from this angle you can see this is our interior scenes and it is more enhanced so you are not required to add any other effect if you are using ray tracing and your lighting will also throw shadows so you can see uh, this is more improved and it is looking pleasing so this is the lighting and it will give a realistic effect so you can do these settings here like this also you can increase the samples and you can increase the bounces and you can turn this denoiser here again this uh, turn this on, on also fully retest classes and if you will increase the samples here so this will uh, result in more time but better uh, scene here in your interior scene so the ray trace is very handy for uh, lumion users since 2023 and it has improved in 2024 also so it is very very useful and time saver so this is the just basic introduction i am giving how to use this ray tracing so it will save you a lot of time so we'll wait till preview for the preview you can see this is 512 uh, sample here and you can also play with these bounces here and increase and decrease so it will result in more enhanced scene interior scene so i will tell you also how some highlights of this ray tracing after this preview so you can see here it is taking more time but the scene will be enhanced from the previous one So you can use uh, more uh, PBR materials and uh, Lumion default library to give it more realistic look. So this is for just for introduction of, about the ray tracing can do more uh, better scenes using uh, realistic uh, materials and textures. So you can see here we are about to finish it has taken more time here for the preview because we have increased the samples here and the bounces so you can see this is a more better in uh, scene here so you can see now i will tell you some highlights here quickly we'll go here and i will tell you what are the highlights of this so you can uh, already you know about the definition how to uh, work with ray tracing and you can use for your exterior interior scene and you can see other benefits of using ray tracing area rise and msc material now cast shadows all light sources interact better with subsurface scattering i will make another tutorial onto this so subsurface scattering give more uh, diffusion uh, diffuse lights to your surface suppose this is a bottle and it is giving more diffused uh, light to this table top here so you can use this uh, subsurface scattering you get perfect reflections glass cast shadows so this is the 
some highlights and since ray tracing take care of emulating how the light behaves with greater precision and realism the following effect will get disabled so when you use ray tracing these effects will not work global illumination effect hyper light effect reflection effect skylight effect shadow effect so if i am going to my lumion here and if i am going to add effect here so if i am going to use global illumination so if see here these all are disabled in this lighting here now you can also do this effect setting which we have discussed just now so for photo mode you can do these kind of settings and quality presets so the samples already I have told you what is meaning of samples and you can also uh, play with bounces so it it simulates the interaction of light with non-reflective objects so we can increase the global illumination of the scenes if you increase the bounces here so this is the denoiser already i have discussed about and i have also told you about firefly filter here so this is fully retest glass and then settings also I have shown you and this is the some highlights of using ray tracing so this was the tutorial about the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in lumion so thanks for watching bye bye